dear students one more concept we will take suppose a product of numbers given how many zeros at last it can have what number of zeros at the end of the product that we will find for example you see one number i will write n equal to the prime factorization i will write 2 cube into 3 power 5 into 5 power 2 into 7 power 4. If you multiply these all powers, it will be a big number. At last, how many zeros will come? That is the concept here. To get 1 0, 1 2 and 1 5 must be there. 2 into 5 10, 1 0 will come. Suppose 2 2s and 2 5s, if you multiply, 100 will come. Last digits must be 2 zeros. So, how to decide how many zeros will be there at last? You have to observe the number of the number of twos and number of fives, how many are there? Here you see there are two twos, two cube means two into two into two, and two fives, five into five. So one two and one five, one zero, one two and one five, another zero that much only 5 is exhausted so you will get the last two zeros will be there for this number therefore the number of zeros at the end of this number is 2 two zeros will come so if you have prime factorization you can tell how many zeros at the end will come now you see that this another notation new notation 10 factorial you know what is factorial 10 factorial means you have to multiply first 10 natural numbers means 1 into 2 into 3 into 4 into 5 into and so on up to 10 if you multiply these all numbers very big number will come the question is here how many zeros will be there at the end of this 10 factorial how to find this one for this uh, I will tell one trick in this product 2 power something will come 5 power also something will come of course 3 power 7 power will be there but we want 2s and 5s only but 2s will be more and 5s will be less so how many 5s are there that much 2s we can use and we can tell the number of zeros so if you know what is the power of 2 and what is the power of 5 in the prime factorization of this one for that you have to use this one what factorial we have to find 10 factorial 10 factorial by 5 for that integral part we required of course 10 by 5 is 2 it is integer directly we can write now this 2 is less than 5 we can stop this one so in the 10 factorial you will get 5 square only Five, for 5 square, so many 2s will be there here. That is why last 2 digits must be. So, now we will observe another example. What is the number of zeros at the end of end of 100 factorial? 100 factorial means what? 1 into 2 into 3 into 4 into and so on up to 100 you have to multiply in this how many zeros will be there we have to write the prime factorization of 100 factorial in prime factorization what is the 2 power and what is the 5 power we have to find but naturally 2 power will be more and 5 power will be less so how many files are there that much zeros will come for that use the concept 100 by 5 for that integral part you have to take integral part is 20 again 20 by 5 integral part we have to take that is 4 this 4 is less than 5 so that is enough now you add these two 24 so in the prime factorization of 100 factorial you will get 5 power 24 so your answer will be 24 there are 24 zeros in 100 factorial